There are more than 25,000 confirmed cases of the coronavirus here in Maryland, and more than 1,000 people have died. The positive news is the amount of hospitalizations and patients in the intensive care unit are dropping. Good evening, I'm Rachel Cardin. Governor Hogan says these numbers need to keep falling in order for him to reopen the state. WJZ is live tonight. Annie Rose Ramos has the latest from the governor. Annie Rose. Rachel, today is the third day in a row where the number of hospitalizations have gone down, but we're continuing to see the number of co confirmed cases rising. The governor says that's due in part to all those tests from South Korea as they make their way throughout the state. We just saved uh, the lives of thousands of Marylanders by getting those half million tests from Korea. Tests from South Korea making their way around the state. And we have those Korean tests with our National Guard with our federal partners. Maryland Sunday recording over 25,462 confirmed cases and more than 1,100 deaths. Sadly, our numbers are climbing, our deaths are climbing. And Governor we, Hogan we're on sure Fox we News Sunday we're evening. Soon. We're hoping we can get our numbers to plateau so we can get things open as quickly as possible. <laughs> Dozens protested Saturday, demanding to reopen the state. Now, I didn't wake up in communist China. And I didn't wake up in North Korea this morning. And tomorrow morning, I should be able to go to the church of my choice and worship the way I choose. It's obviously got the right to say whatever crazy things he wants to say. But Governor Hogan on CNN Sunday acknowledged the pressure to reopen. People are getting frustrated and they've been inside of their homes and especially we want to get them outside and uh, enjoying some fresh air. As crowds gathered in Baltimore's Fells Point Saturday, making social distancing difficult, if not impossible. It's one of the things we're concerned about. You see this happening around the country as, as you p states try to open in a safe way. And again, Rachel, the governor is urging everyone to social distance and to only leave home for essential reasons. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.